Welcome, David Wiss here, registered dietitian, founder of Nutrition and Recovery. Today we're going to talk about men and eating disorders. This is such an important topic that's only recently started to get the attention that it deserves. The question has always been, what kind of symptoms and risk factors are gender specific and how does body image differ between men and women? One of my early papers was a chapter in a textbook called Muscle Dysmorphia, where body image, obsession, compulsive exercise, disordered eating, and substance abuse intersect in susceptible males. And we reviewed the literature and described muscle dysmorphia as a condition that shares characteristics with eating disorders, but is not necessarily an eating disorder, as well as characteristics with obsessive compulsive disorder, and body dysmorphic disorder, which is in the DSM-5. We created a table offering the assessment tools that were available at that time for evaluating uh, male body satisfaction. This theme has shown up. Uh, early research suggested that male bodybuilders and men with bulimia nervosa have many eating-related features in common, but there isn't clear research to show whether eating disorders drive people toward bodybuilding or if bodybuilding and the associated dieting is what creates the eating disorders. So we know that there are some gender specific risk factors. Athletics, uh, especially competitive sports where there's weighing, sexuality, uh, adverse or negative life experiences, which is an area of interest I have now. We know that men are more likely than women to binge rather than to restrict. And we know that there's a lot of obstacles to treatment, including cultural biases towards eating disorders because they're often considered to be female disorders. There's a lack of training for professionals that deal with male-specific eating disorders. And this is the big question for today. Do men with eating disorders need gender-specific treatment? Small sample interviews have suggested that men do have more difficulty admitting the eating disorder. Uh, Many authors suggest that there are important differences that do affect treatment. So mental health professionals should consider a gender-based approach to eating disorder recovery by collaborating with males to understand ways masculinity influences their disordered eating and their decision to seek help. Early research from some of the leaders in the eating disorder field have suggested that men have slightly less risk for perfectionism, harm avoidance, reward dependence, and cooperativeness than females. And this was from um, really important genetic research that has helped the eating disorder field tremendously. It has been shown that men do better in terms of uh, prognosis than females for anorexia nervosa. This has uh, been shown more recently. Men with anorexia show a slightly better outcome. However, with bulimia nervosa, the outcome is about the same. So these authors actually suggested that existing treatment is equally effective in both males and females, and uh, we definitely need more research for gender-specific stuff. Uh, Semi-structured interviews, small sample size again, this was in the UK, um, suggested that you know for men that were in treatment, you can see the title here, there's, there's nothing there for guys. The treatment can inadvertently reinforce a perception of atypicality due to being men in a female dominant environment. So the conclusions here were that adaptations actually might be required to make the treatment environment more male friendly. Other authors have suggested that an all male treatment environment is helpful in allowing men to benefit from treatment with less stigma, less assumptions. However, uh, recent research suggests from uh, 10 trained clinicians that they can do fine in the current treatment settings, that there doesn't need to be uh, gender-specific treatment, that uh, the needs can be met within the typical environment that already exists, just being more sensitive to the presence of men. What do you think? Do uh, men with eating disorders need gender-specific treatment? Does one size fit all? Do we need to think about um, gender fluidity in this conversation? and the gender revolution that's going on. What are your thoughts on this topic? I'd love to hear from you.